Good morning, children. We proceed with exercise 9.2. Finding price index numbers. Having learned the theory about Lash Pyre's index number, Pash's index number and Fisher's index number. Here we are going to do problems based on them. Question number 14. Calculate suitable price index number of commodities A, B, C are given. Years 2002 and 2012 are given. Price quantity, price quantity is the heading given to us. In the formula, we have four notations. P1, price of current year. P0, price of base year. Q0, quantity in base year. And Q1, quantity in current year. So, we need to denote the given as these notations. This is base year and this is current year. So here I will use not, here I will use 1. Price in base year, P0. Quantity in base year, we will denote Q0. Price in 2012, that is current year. Price P, current year 1. Quantity Q, current year 1. So, let us remember, price means P. Quantity we denote as Q. Base year we put 0. Current year we put 1. So, we know the 4. We have to apply in the formula. For which, let us multiply. P1, Q0. P1, Q0. Let us multiply like this. 20 into 16, 320. 34 into 18, 612. 30 into 20, 600. Find the total. Call it as sigma P1, Q0. So the answer is 1532. Now I want P0, Q0. So P0, Q0. Multiply 10 into 20, 200. 12 into 34, 408. 15 into 30, 450. Total 1058. P0, Q0 total. So how do I write it? Sigma P0, Q0 is 1058. The next idea, I want P1, Q1. P1, Q1. Multiply. 16 tenths. 160. 18 into 42. 756. 20 into 26. 520. The total. 1436 is Sigma P1 Q1. The next quantity I want is P0 Q1. P0 Q1. Multiply properly. 10 into 10, 100. 12 into 42, 504. 15 into 26, 390. Total them. It is sigma P0 Q1. It is 994. Having known the total of each column, let us substitute in Lash Pyre's index number. The formula, we denote P01 L. The formula is sigma P1 by sigma P0. Remember, in all the formula, sigma you mustn't forget. Because we are summing up. And in all the formula, current year price in the numerator, base year price in the denominator. So P1 by P0. Last per year, I put base year quantity Q0. In Pache, I put Q1. Just substitute the total. P1 Q0. 1532 by P0 Q0. 1058 into 100. Simplify and write the answer. We get 144.80. Pashe's index number. Let us substitute. 
P1 Q1 it is 1436 P0 Q1 994 multiply divide and write the answer it is 144.47 as I see the two values what do I understand from this if a particular thing is 100 rupees in base year now it has become 144.80 so what is the increase 144.80 minus 100 so on an average there is an increase of 44.80 and Pashis tell me 44.47 from base year to current year as per Lashpayers and Pashis index number respectively. From Lashpayer, I understand 44.8 has increased. From Pashis, I understand 44.47 has increased. And that is the inference we make using index numbers. Question number 15. Calculate price index number for 2005 using Lash Pires and Pashis formula. Given commodity 1995 and 2005. Comparing these two. This is base year and this is current year. You are given price and quantity. Let us write down. Price tells me P. Quantity is Q. Price is P. Quantity is Q. 1995 is base year. So put P0, Q0. 2005 is current year. So put P1, Q1. If you change any of this, the entire answer will go wrong. So in index number, identifying P0, Q0, P1, Q1 is an important step. Then this is simple. We multiply P1 and Q0. So we will point out and multiply so that we don't make mistake. Find the total and write it. Sigma P1 Q0 1150. P0 Q0 these two. So keep pointer and multiply. Total it 425. P1 Q1 these two multiplying. And now I get 1450. P1 Q1, 1450. P0 Q1, P0 Q1. 5 into 70, 4 into 35, 3 into 20. Let us find the total. It is 550. Lash formula, sigma up and down. P1 in the numerator, P0 in the denominator, put Q0 up and down. Remember to write into 100. Similarly, Pashes, sigma up and down, P1 by P0, remember the pattern, Q1 will come in the numerator and denominator, again into 100. Lash bias, let me substitute, P1 Q0. 1150 P0 Q0 425 into 100. Let us simplify. P1 Q1 the total is 1450 by sigma P0 Q1 550 into 100. You can use calculator simplify and write. We get the answer 270.59 and 263.6. Question number 16. Calculate Lash Pires, Pashes and Fishers index number for the year 2010 as compared to the year 2000. Again, we are given some commodities. Years 2000-2010. Quantity 2000-2010. How should we mark it? Price tells me P. Quantity tells me Q. 2000 is base year 0. Current year 1. 2000 base year 0. Current year 1. Having marked, let us find out the total. 
P1 Q0 multiplying, which we have written here. P0 Q0, 12 into 18, 15 into 20, 14 into 24, 12 into 29. P1 Q1, multiply these two columns, 14 and 16, 16 and 15, 15 and 20, 12 and 23. P0 Q1, P0 Q1, multiply these two, 12 into 16, 15 into 15, 14 into 20, 12 into 23. As we get the total, let us remember to put sigma. Sigma P1 Q0 is 1280. Sigma P0 Q0, 1200. Sigma P1 Q1, 1014. Sigma P0 Q1, 973. Substitute in Lash Fires index number. Sigma P1 Q0 by Sigma P0 Q0 into 100. Pashes. Sigma P1 Q1, 1014. Sigma P0 Q1, 973 into 100. Lash Pius index number is 106.67 Pashes, 106.88 and Fishers. Geometric mean of Lash Pius and Pashe. What do you mean by geometric mean? Square root of the product of the two index numbers. Square root of 106.67 into 106.88. That reduces to 106.77. And that is the completion of the answer. Question number 18. Using Fisher's ideal formula. Compute the price index number for the year 1999. Given a question like this, let us identify the price and quantity, base year and current year properly. There are two years given, 96, 99 and the two headings price and quantity. How to write it? 96. So all these things will come under P0 or Q0. This is base year. Price tells me P0. So give the heading P0, give the heading Q0. All the price values in 96, I will write under P0. 5, 8, 6. Price under 1996 will come under P0. Quantity 10, 6, 3. 10, 6, 3. Quantity under 96 will come under Q0. Similarly, 1999 is the current year. So, P1 or Q1. Put the heading P1, Q1. Price under 99, 4, 7, 5 will come under P1. Quantity under 99, 12, 7, 4 will come under Q1. So, identify the four notations P0, Q0, P1, Q1. Now, let us multiply. P1, Q0 multiplying 40, 42, 15. P0, Q0 multiply these two. 5 into 10, 8 into 6, 6 into 3. P1, Q1 multiply these two. 4 into 12, 7 into 7, 5 into 4. P0, Q1 Multiply these two. 5 into 12, 8 into 7, 6 into 4. Total it all. Remember to put sigma. Sigma P1 Q0 is 97. Sigma P0 Q0 is 116. Sigma P1 Q1 117. Sigma P0 Q1 140. Now, my question is to find Fisher's ideal index number. The formula. Remember, in Fisher's, we put square root of. Sigma, do not forget for all the quantities. Always, P1 by P0, don't forget. 
in lash pair i put q0 in pache i put q1 fishers is the product of both and then in 200 so remember to write the formula correctly and then substitute as we substitute the values it is root of p1 q0 97 by p0 q0 116 p1 q1 117 p0 q1 140 multiply find the square root and then multiply by 100 find out the answer we get 83.16 as the answer